98.9 The Hog. Some Mac Fund Radiothon 2024 version. Please welcome to the program head coach of your Wisconsin Badger men's basketball team, Greg Gard. Good morning, Coach. How are you? Good morning, guys. How you guys doing? We're great. Thanks for asking. Are you decompressing right now? Is this your time to just take a little little time for Greg? Uh, no. No. <laughs> no. I'm actually in Phoenix at the Final Four and um, headed to meetings later this morning and a full day. So, yeah, there hasn't been any slowing of the hamster wheel, so to speak, since the end of the season. Is this uh, the meeting you're going to? Is this one you called or are you being called to it? No, it's a it's a Division One head coaches meeting. That's yeah. Normally, this is our this is our national convention time oh. as well around the Final Four. So it's a chance to for us to get together and and uh, talk about all the issues that we face in college basketball. Well, okay, you said issues. Do we have any issues in college basketball right now? Uh, we have a few. We have a few. Yeah, um, things that we have to get on the right track, down the right road with the transfer portal and NIL. And ah, that's what I was going to say, I NIL? Much, yeah, I don't know how much uh, we're going to change all this, but at least we'll talk about it. How do you feel about the NIL and the portal and all the changes that have gone on over the last few years? Well, I, I think the as you break them down each individually, they all have merit and they all have good reasoning behind it. Um, the issue has been all these have come out at once, and and some have parlayed on the other. To you know, NIL has parlayed on the portal to increase entry uh, into the portal to try to drive NIL value up, and and vice versa. So, um, I think in and of itself, NIL is a good thing. Um, yeah, I think I've always felt players should get compensated something. Um, whatever it may be, jersey sales, sponsorships, ads, those things. Um, but obviously we've gone to an era uh, era where it's um, gone beyond that and, and really with no rules or guidelines or um, guardrails around it in terms of contracts, regulations, et cetera. So it's, it's created a, an atmosphere that's hard to, to really get a, a good sense of, of where it's going and and how to how to regulate it it's really unregulated right now between the nil and ai all showing up at about the same time i feel like it's the wild west out there that's that term has been used a lot um it, it definitely has so it's uh you know we just like i said i i, I agree with the original intent but this has morphed into something that i think all the older coaches predicted would happen that when there isn't regulation and there is no guardrails around it and policies and all the things that come with that where there's no other sport if you think about all the professional sports they all have arbitration free agency rules um salary caps etc and and we're operating in this world with none of that in place not to get too serious but if you guys get to that point where you're doing all the same things that the professionals are doing, what separates you from the pros then? Um, nothing really. It's yeah. just going to be a different, different division, different level. You know, it's going to be not that we'll be affiliated with the NBA, but it will be like the minor league system where there's a there has to be structure to it. And right now, we don't have any structure. Yeah, or things could get sideways pretty quickly. Let's drag this back onto the court, um, <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> Looking back on your on your years uh, as head coach, well, who's been the 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 best rivalry for the Badgers? Badgers and who? Oh man, um, you know the games with Michigan State always are are, are fun, are good. Both of us have been really good over the years. Do you think that Izzo's um, going to catch on over there? Yeah. Or are they just going to pass yeah, on him yeah, eventually? I think, gotta, I think he might yeah, stick around for a while. <laughs> oh, so, oh, so you think yeah. he might, he may catch on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, and obviously the yearly games with Marquette, you know, I think for both of us, it's probably one day if you talk to either staff. It's one day, but, you know, the fan bases love that 
time leading up to it. Yeah, um, I know a guy who graduated from really Marquette. Cool, a guy who graduated from Marquette who won't touch, own, keep, or have in his house any red W. <laughs> no Bucky Badger. <laughs> kind of no Bucky Badger. Bucky, no. Yeah. That's bordering no. on psychotic. Yeah. Yeah. Just none okay. of it. All none right. of it. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm sure in plenty of houses around the state, there's nobody who would have any Marquette yeah. memorabilia in their house as well. So, yeah, I'm, I'm probably one, I'm one of those. So. <laughs> All right. So when things do settle down, what, I mean, we have the final four coming up. So obviously the, the peak of the season is coming up. When does your schedule slow down a little bit? Uh, maybe the latter part of May. Okay. I would say, and then it'll, it'll crank back up in June as we bring our, you know, we'll send our our guys home after finals in early May, and then uh, and then mid June we'll bring them back. So we got a, a three week window there, late May, early June, where it'll it'll calm a little bit, so and then it, then again the back half of August. Do you go out and watch a lot of high school basketball, looking for uh, during the season some more. More in the summer, more in the spring and summer when we can go to AAU events. You yeah. just see more. You see them, them in masses, which is a little better to evaluate. You can see more more people in one spot. But, yeah, I mean, during the season, my assistants probably pop out more than I do just because I'm at, you know, I, I right. shouldn't skip practice. That's not a good thing to do right? Um, when you're the head coach. So I, I get out when I can during the season, but primary focus is on our current team when when we're in season do you have an opening line when you're talking to a potential recruit that you go up and uh your icebreaker is it a joke is it a serious hello i'm greg guard head coach yeah i'm I'm greg guard head coach of the badgers and then Uh, there's and then we roll and then then we roll from there and it depends where the conversation takes me because i would think that's more of a one-sided conversation for you because they're new to this. You do this right. more than they do. They're being recruited, probably not for the first time, but you know, yeah. they're they're the ones that are they're getting all the attention. Yeah, I mean you keep it it's they're they're human. You know, I'm human. You hey, how's school going? What's your favorite class? What class sure. is kicking your butt? Okay. You know, how's your family? Um, what part of your game do you think you know you get better at? Have you ever been to Madison? Have you watched this play? You know, not, there's nothing, you know, we're not, we're not putting a man on the moon here. Yeah. It's, so so it's, it's, it's pretty simple. It's kind of like talking to your nephew at a family reunion. Exactly. <laughs> is, is what it exactly. sounds like a little bit. Yeah. You're just, hey, catching up. How are you? Yeah. 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 Did you get in a car? Get a new car? Something like that. <laughs> you play, get any, uh, when you do take some time off, are you going to Disneyland? Are you going to go to an all-inclusive resort? Are you just going to stay home? What are you going to do? Uh, we have a place in northern Wisconsin, so in the Eagle River area. So I like, I love northern Wisconsin. So we'll hit that, and um, you know when we can. So that's that's probably the main thing. There'll be outlier trips here or there. Okay. But for the most part, if I have a little window, I I zip north. Are you on the lake up there? Yes, we are on the lake. Yes. Going to take the boat out and do a little fishing, maybe? That's always relaxing. Fishing yeah, is always yeah, relaxing. Yeah, I just need to get better at catching. Well, ah, that's the problem. Well, well. Uh, how much time do you spend out there doing that? Not near enough. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, your time is kind of in, in, in demand as head coach of the, the Badger basketball team. Yeah, yeah. There's not too many days that don't go unscheduled or right. full. All right, just be honest. When's the last time you were back to uh, Cobb County? Oh, you mean Iowa County? Oh, Iowa, Iowa County. County. Sorry, Cobb is in Iowa County. Yeah. Right. Last time, I actually went back on Easter to see my mom. Oh, so not, not that very long. Nice. Okay. Yeah. You are a good son. You're a good son, Greg. I try. Yeah. I try. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you're when you're uh, have an Easter dinner with your mom or whatever you guys did on Easter or whether you're uh, you're up in Eagle River and you're fishing, be honest. Are you still thinking about basketball in the back of your head a little bit? Yeah, it's at the front of my head. Yeah. Okay, all right. That's, <laughs> that's, yeah. a, that's it never a, leaves. Mom, yeah. would you pass the basketball? I mean, the ham. Yeah. I can't, <laughs> can't get it off my mind. You try to unplug, but it's, yeah. it's hard. It's hard. How big a hit is losing A.J. Store for next year? 
Um, you know, I think AJ running the NBA route and, and the other things he's going to have to decide on is, you know, it's if he can make it to the NBA, it's great for our program. I, I think he's come a long ways in a year. I think there's still areas he's got to improve. But, um, you know, I think it, it's, you know, we talked about the transfer portal. There's an example of somebody coming in with a lot of raw talent and spending a year with us and has put himself into that draft conversation. So, um, you know, I think it's good for our program because he came in and, and did well, um, helped us win a lot of games. And, you know, now he gets a chance to chase his dream, which is, you know, everybody that walks in my locker room has dreams of playing in the NBA. Some of them are more realistic and some of them are a fallacy. So I try to be real with everybody. If you really have a chance and AJ has a chance, so he wants to chase that and do that, which he should do. Um, but I think, you know, all in all it's win-win because I think we helped him get a lot better and put him where he could, you know, have these opportunities in front of him. So we'll have other, we got other really good players back. Our core is all back and we'll add some pieces here over the next few weeks um, to accompany our incoming freshmen and, um, mid-June hits, we'll have them on the floor and get ready to go again. Talking to Greg Gard, Badger basketball coach. You're in Phoenix right now. Are you going to the games? Are you going tomorrow? Yes. You are? Yeah. yeah. yeah are they good seats? <coughs> yeah, what do they I get so. for you? I haven't looked yet. You have, I haven't no. looked yet. Do you have a plus one? I do. I do. All right. Now, has anybody asked you, because you're the last team to beat Purdue, has anybody and asked? Hopefully, we're the last team to beat Purdue too. Oh, so you're big. You're you're a Big Ten guy. You want to see the championship yes, in the absolutely. Big Ten? All right. So absolutely. so if anybody asks you, how did you slow him down? How did you stop him in in the Big well, Ten three tournament? Three guys fouled out for us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> was one thing. Um, you know, we got him in some foul trouble. If you're referring to Zach Eady, I see. Yes, absolutely. Um, yeah. So it's uh, they're a hard matchup. He's a hard matchup, I mean, and they have more than just him. That's what makes them unique. And then with how they play, with how they space the floor, move him around, put him in different spots, using it, use him as a passer to set up threes, you know, put him in different spots to score um, throughout the around the lane. So uh, no, they're they're here for a reason. They're a really good team. We had three terrific battles with them. Got them on the last one. Um, but no, I hope I hope for Big Ten's sake. And I'm a big Matt Painter fan. He, he's been a great mentor for me um, in terms of a guy that was out in the league prior to me getting in it as a head coach. Uh, He followed a legend in Gene Cady. I've had to follow Bo Ryan. So, um, you know, and and just how he's done it. He's been a great ambassador for college basketball and uh, hopefully for our league's sake and for he's one of the good guys in our profession that's been at it for a long time. But you're not going to miss Zach Eady next year when you play no, Purdue. No, not, not in the league. Not in the league. <laughs> well, Coach, thanks for helping us out with the Mac Fund Radiothon. Thanks for your time, and uh, it's always interesting to talk to you. Yeah, I hope you have good seats uh, yeah, for the games yeah. this weekend. What's that? I hope you have good seats for the game this weekend. I, I do, too. I do, too. And and the job the Mac Fund has done, um, I mean, what did we Eighty-four million in, in almost fifty years. Uh, that's a, reading my stats right. Is that yeah? Is that where we are over the years? Yeah, yeah. yeah so. They've done an awesome job, and I know they've been a great partner of our Carbone Center in Madison too, and um, just uh, an awesome, awesome venture. And hopefully, you get a lot of people calling in, donating money. All right, Coach. Thanks for the time. We appreciate it. You bet. All Talk right. To you soon. Talk to you yeah. later, Greg Gard, head coach at Wisconsin.